All I'm hearing is, you have this disease, there is no cure and there is no treatment. You're not actually treating the disease because you're really treating symptoms and that ultimately in 20 to 25 years, it would lead to kidney failure. Even the smallest tasks literally leave you breathless as your kidney function gets worse. Very sluggish, unable to concentrate, unable to do anything, and nauseous all the time. Like my skin literally turned gray. I lost so much weight. I look like a skeleton. Just walking around the block, walking, you know, trying to go for a five minute walk with, with our dog and I'd be super winded all the time. You qualify to be put on the list when you reach 20% kidney function. At the time of my kidney transplant, my kidney function was at 8%. And I don't know how I was functioning at all. I was, I mean, I felt terrible. I really, really felt terrible. Transplant day is crazy. You wake up from surgery. You have this sort of, um, this energy. Is it like the rush of, oh my God, I just had surgery? I'm like, no, it's real. It's like, oh, something is working now inside that has been working for a long time and you feel it. <laughs> oh, it's so much brighter now. So that's where the fairy goes. Elena has definitely been my biggest rock. When you're married to someone and you live together, there is no hiding just having someone who's always constantly sort of looking out, creating a safe space. To this date, I've helped about five patients find their living donor through social media campaigns. So I feel pretty good about that. Being diagnosed with IgA nephropathy and that there is no cure and there is no treatment, it can also come back after you've had a transplant. And until this disease can be treated, you can't get comfortable. My hope for the future is that the minute you get diagnosed with this disease, your nephrologist knows exactly how they can help you and connect you with other like-minded people. I can't imagine what that would have done for me and my family.